And remember guys, safety first. If you do this at home, make sure you're wearing uh, some kind of eye protection or something, okay? So let's go ahead and I'm just, I'm just gonna see if I can hack off a nice chunk of the body, like right through here, because there shouldn't be any electronics or anything right in there. Also, there's a, a knot. Can you see that? There's a knot in the, uh, in the body, so, uh, or on the top. So I want to see if this is, that is actually really in the wood or if this is just some kind of veneer or, fo or photo finish or something like that. So let's go ahead and see how this plays out here. Hey friends, welcome back to the Guitar Max channel. And in this video, I want to address one of the cheap guitar myths that I am just sick and tired of hearing about. Almost every single time that I review an affordable guitar, an inexpensive guitar, let's say under $300, somewhere in the comments, I see this myth. And today I am going to sacrifice a couple of guitars in order to disprove this myth. Okay, so what am I talking about exactly? Well, the myth is basically that guitar, it's not even made out of real wood. I guess some people think that real wood is so difficult and expensive to come by that some guitar companies resort to using particle board or MDF, medium density fiber board, or plywood instead of a solid wood guitar body. Now this is particularly the case when I review a cheap and heavy guitar, right? Because like MDF or particle board, it can be very heavy compared to plywood or of course just solid wood. A lot of these so-called artificial woods are made sort of from a paste of like glue or some kind of resin and sawdust or other types of waste wood. You stir it around in a big vat and then you pour it out and it dries and that becomes your wood. Anyway, I have been hearing this for years and I'm sick of it and I want to disprove this. So how am I gonna do it? Well, I have two guitars that are inexpensive guitars. One is around $200, one is like under $100. And I am going to use my good old trusty Chicago Electric Harbor Freight reciprocating saw and I am going to cut these guitars in half so we can look at the inside of the body and see what kind of wood it really is. Is it real wood? Is it solid wood? Or is it some kind of weird synthetic wood? Or is it plywood? We're gonna find out for sure today. Now, the two guitars that I have chosen to be sacrificed on the altar of the guitar YouTube world, uh, one of them is this one right here. You might remember this from, I don't know, a couple years ago. This is the BCP, Best Choice Products, you know, three single coil Strat type guitar. Um, guys, this, this guitar is the cheapest of the cheap. You get this in like a, like a starter pack that includes an amp and a gig bag and the cable and, you know, a strap and all that stuff. And I think the whole thing all together was a little over a hundred bucks. So the guitar alone is under a hundred dollars and it has like this really weird, really thick binding on it. Uh, you know, the fret ends are sharp. It's a playable guitar and you can make it sound decent with enough effects and that kind of thing, but it is not a good guitar. And look at this, they didn't even bother to put a brand name on the headstock. I guess that's how proud of it they are. But honestly, this guitar is so cheap, I am not even comfortable giving it away to someone because I would not be giving them a good guitar. I would not be doing them a favor. So that's one guitar. And in particular, look at the wood grain on the top here, okay? Is this top going to match the wood that we find inside? That's something I'm really curious about. Now, the other guitar I have laying right here, this is the $200 guitar. You might recognize this. This is one of the Firefly LP guitars. And uh, yeah, I, I've had lots of Fireflies. They are great guitars, but in order to prove this myth wrong, we are just going to go ahead and sacrifice these guitars. So let's go ahead and get right into this. Uh, let's see if we have any power here. Oh, yeah. We got some juice. Now, real quick, guys, as always, if you enjoy videos like this, checking out cool, affordable guitars, and also staying up on all the latest news in the guitar universe, and you have not already subscribed, please consider subscribing right now. Which one should we 
should we, should we start with here? I think we should start with the, uh, the super cheap one, the best choice products, kind of a uh, ironic name, I guess. And the uh, Firefly, I think will live a few more minutes. And remember guys, safety first. If you do this at home, make sure you're wearing uh, some kind of eye protection or something, okay? So let's go ahead and I'm just, I'm just gonna see if I can hack off a nice chunk of the body, like right through here, because there shouldn't be any electronics or anything right in there. Also, there's a, a knot. Can you see that? There's a knot in the, uh, in the body, so, uh, or on the top. So I wanna see if this is, that is actually really in the wood or if this is just some kind of veneer or, fo or photo finish or something like that. So let's go ahead and see how this plays out here. Now, real quick, guys, I, I just, before we do this, I mean, I, I want to reassure you uh, a couple of things here. I know there are people screaming in the comments, typing stuff right now. Max, don't you realize that there are starving kids in Africa that could have used those guitars to play wicked metal riffs? Look, trust me on this, okay? This is not a guitar you would wish on anyone. I wouldn't sell this guitar to someone I didn't like, right? It's that bad and it has gotten worse over time. I've had this thing kicking around my apartment for a couple of years. The action has gotten higher. I don't know what happened. The wood shifted or something like that, but it has only gotten worse. And guys, the, the deal with the Firefly guitar here, this is not necessarily a bad guitar, um, but the issue is this one is kind of like a, um, it was a test or sort of like a, I don't even want to say a B-stock. This was a test of a new finish that they were doing, and it didn't work out. Look, you can't even, you can't even see the, uh, the logo on the headstock. And, you know, it has the old style frets and that kind of stuff. So I, I wouldn't want to sell this or even give this to someone because it's not going to represent the way Firefly guitars really are, especially today. Okay, anyway, enough talking, guys. Let's go ahead and uh, let's, just, let's just see how this plays out here, okay? So, see if I can hold this. And let's see what happens here. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, baby. Woo! <laughs> hey! All right. Beautiful. Guys, I'm going to give you some close-ups of this here. And I mean, this is this is exactly what we would expect. Take take a good look at this right here. Not only is it real solid wood, it's not particle board, it's not MDF, it's not plywood. It's real solid wood, and the grain you can see the grain on the inside of the wood even matches the grain on the top. Okay, so there's no photo top, not even a veneer, anything like that. It's just a piece of real wood that they've sprayed the color finish over. That's it. And remember guys, this, oh, whoops. This is the, you know, this is the cheap, cheap guitar here. So if any guitar was gonna have a fake wood body, it would be this one right here. And if this one is real, then I would think that, you know, the other similarly priced guitars like the Donner or Glary, or I don't know if a moon is still out there, but those guitars that are all around that same price range, they're gonna be similar construction. Now, one thing that is interesting here, and uh, again, I'll give you a close-up of this, is right here, I can see a separation line where uh, two pieces of wood have been glued together. So this body is probably a two or three piece uh, body guitar, right? So there, it's, it's all the same type of wood, just to make the chunk of wood that the body is then cut out of, they're gluing two or three pieces of wood together. And you can see the line right in here, and if you look closely, you can see it on the top of the body, right, right here. So again, no funny business. They're not trying to get away with anything. This is really how the guitar is made. Okay, anyway, there's one, but let's go ahead and go on to the next one here, let's go on to the Firefly. And again, if this was, you know, a, a regular production Firefly, I would never do this. Uh, but this one is, is, like I said, it was kind of a test article. It was never meant to, to really be sold or, or distributed or anything like that. So I feel okay sacrificing it. 
So guitar sacrifice number two. Let's see if I can do this, uh, do this same cut again. This body's a little bit thicker here. Let's give it a shot. Hot knife through butter. It's like, uh, hello, I'd like to order another guitar, please. Okay, guys, so once again here, look at this here. Solid wood in here. And yeah, this is one of the heavier guitars. As you can see, no particle board, no MDF, uh, certainly no plywood. And also, this, this guitar is advertised as having a mahogany body. And this has the very tight grain, a much tighter grain to the wood which you would expect with, with mahogany, right? Now the other one, uh, where's that? Oh yeah, right here. The other one, I think this had a, uh, this was like a basswood body and it's, it's, it's a much lighter wood. It's got a looser grain here. Now, the other thing, which uh, is kind of blowing my mind and I've got I've to give you guys a close up of this. It's a little bit difficult to see in the lighting, but you see on the top here, there's a darker portion of this. It looks to me, like the top of the guitar is actually a different type of wood. It has a, a little bit of a looser grain than the, the body does below it. And you can, you can see where the, uh, the binding goes into the wood right here. It looks to me like they actually have a mahogany body and then a real maple top. Now it's probably not flame maple, I think what they're doing is they're using a maple, like a maple cap, and then they're putting a maple veneer over the cap to give it the nice look. But they don't have to do that, right? They could just have the body just be one solid piece of wood, and then put the veneer over that. From the outside, nobody would know the difference. But this is a much more traditional way of making a guitar, especially a Les Paul, uh, an LP type guitar like this. And this is a $200 guitar, or, I mean, it was. You, know, you can even see the, uh, the binding on the back of the, gu the guitar, too. And yeah, this is, I mean, I'll just tell you guys this, it's too small to see here, but the finish is extremely thick on this guitar. And that was really part of the issue. That's why I'm cutting this one up, uh, is, you know, they were experimenting with the finish and it was painted several times uh, and never really came out the color that it was supposed to but it ended up with this really, really thick paint finish on it. Okay guys, so just overall, you know, at this point, um, I don't wanna hear anybody talking about this stuff, about, oh man, those, those cheap guitars are not even made out of real wood. Okay, yes, yes they are. You can see here, no particle board, no MDF, no plywood, it's all solid wood. And just that same idea of companies are somehow cheating or they're trying to get away with something, right? You know, guitar companies. This kind of seeps into a lot of other things. There's all these little theories about how companies are like trying to be sneaky and that kind of stuff. This is one I've heard all the time and that's why I really want to disprove it, which hopefully I have now. But the other one um, I heard of, which was just incredibly ridiculous, if you just stop and think about it for a second, was with spalted maple tops. And the idea is that you get a cheap guitar, an inexpensive guitar with a spalted maple top that's not a real spalted maple top. It's not a veneer. It's not even a photo finish. It's someone with a pen drawing, like a Sharpie, drawing the lines to make it look like it's spalted maple. Guys, just think about that for a second. Imagine the amount of labor they would have to go into something like that. That, you know, there's some dude in India or Vietnam or something who's sitting there with a pen, right? Like every single guitar drawing the spalted maple lines in. Guys, when they do, they do this in a factory, 
they take a veneer, they glue both sides, they slap it on, clamp it, boom, go to the next one. It takes, it takes like a minute to do this, as opposed to like half an hour for a guy sitting there with a pen. I mean, stuff like that, I honestly, I don't know how people dream up some of these ideas. Now guys, the last thing I wanna say here is this. I understand that perhaps at some point in the now distant past, maybe you did have a guitar that was made out of plywood or some kind of synthetic wood or something like that. And yeah, maybe in the 70s or the 80s, when guitar manufacturing was not at the level that it is today, then sure, that was, that was done, and I'm sure you experienced something like that. But guys, since the 2000s and the advancement of you know, computer-aided manufacturing and so forth, they just don't have to cut corners in terms of materials like that anymore. So the bottom line here is these cheap guitars are made of real wood. All right, so that is pretty much it for this video. Of course, I would love to read your comments uh, questions and concerns down in the comments section below and as usual I will have my social media links and all that fun stuff down in the video description below. Thanks a ton for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thumbs up and I'll see you soon.